This English wall garden is full of surprises. The old gate's going through. We're going to make our way up to the house soon to show you that. We've created a beautiful seating area just outside this greenhouse. She's got potted lilies on and I haven't seen a potted lily grow quite like this. For some time it must be a crown at around 8 foot and probably a 10 or 12 inch pot. A little water feature just behind it with a small water lily in it. These are beautiful examples of lilies. Beautiful pink one, just look at that one in the background, the red. I'm not sure if that's a day lily or a lily, I think it's probably a day lily at the back. You can see all the heads, that must have been spectacular about a week ago. And look at this one, beautiful deep rich colour, attracting hoverflies and bees. Just growing below this peach tree, which is absolutely covered in the most beautifully coloured peaches. Very little leaf curl on this one. It's obviously liking the feature here. It's on a 15 to 20 foot wall, directly south facing, and really benefiting from that. The heat, even on dull days, the wall will just retain enough heat to keep it in leaf and growth, even in the uh, early spring. But this herbaceous border running through the centre of this wall garden is a Real thing of beauty. Large plantings of daylilies. Another herbaceous plant. Just let me walk you down here and enjoy it. Dahlias, grasses. Looking back towards the wall where we've just come through. Beautiful spot. Now for the greenhouse. Further down, Achilles, Sativas, Phloxes, we've got some fennel, bronze fennel, just seeded itself and coming up through this border. The star at the moment is the daylilies, absolute mass of flowers. Wow, just look at the colour on this thing. Bright scarlet. <laughs> Little black sand leaves. Flowering marjoram. And then these giant herbaceous mounds of white tufted flowers. As we come down this path, it doesn't end there, the plantings go laterally. Fantastic dahlias, but just look at this. Back end of this garden where potatoes are being dug, rhubarb beds. The colour on those apples is just spectacular. The spalliered young apple trees. Got carrots under netting. Try and keep the carrot root fly away. Lettuces. And these are spectacular. Just look at this mass of flower. See if I can find a label for the variety. Larkspur, Limelight, Rose, this one. What a fantastic annual planting. Mass of this most beautiful, pastely pinky red with mauve interplanted with it. Absolutely wonderful. Calendula, this one called Pink surprise, yellowy flower, quite unusual for a calendula. They almost look like the flowers that are everlasting, the dry ones, but there's no fibre in them at all. It's proper calendula, loads of seed forming on this. And to the left of it, the more traditional calendulas, the ones I'm more familiar with anyway, the bright oranges and the yellows. And a double on the end. That's a lovely one. Look at the quality of that. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm running into an early flowering cosmos. Fantastic. Some flowers at the back. 
more espalier fruit. They use a lot of netting here to protect the vegetable crops. They've had broad beans and French beans in here. And then this onion crop, red onions. Retano, this variety. Good size red onion, just look at some of these. Be very pleased if I grow that. Absolutely fantastic, and they go on and on for a full allotment length, just about, with a side planting of sweet peas. And behind that, French beans, and then a couple of varieties of runner beans. Uh, everything named in this garden, which is absolutely fantastic. So we've got on one side a French bean Barlotto, and then on this one, Runner Bean Armstrong. What a fantastic long bean that produces. Just look at the length of it 13, 14 inches. A massive crop and still in flower, so couldn't recommend itself better than that, really, could it?